open exhibit. So what that means. Our doors are open pretty much all day long. And as long as those doors are open, you guys are more than welcome to come on in and hang out with us as long as you like. So you can watch our golf that's going about their day and watch us as trainers going about our day as well. And there's definitely going to be a trainer available to you guys all day today. So if you have any questions about our office, yeah. come and find us. We have the whistle around our neck and these really cool boots on our feet. We'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Now I'm going to tell you guys just about our dolphins as our trainers do get started there in the back area. We do have seven Buffalo's dolphins that live here at National Aquarium. There are five girls and two boys. It is safe to say the girls run the house over here, guys. At the, exactly. Now at the very top is Miss Chesapeake. Chesapeake was the first dolphin ever born here at National Aquarium. She is now, wait for it, 25 years old. Well, so if we do a little turn, 
they'll actually do it with us, which is really cool to see. So I think it's a great way for these guys to learn. But of course, they do have a lot of really awesome high energy behaviors. Now, all the behaviors you guys are going to see right now are natural behaviors for dolphins to do. Because we are an open exhibit, you guys might come in later and see them doing these on their own, which is really cool. All right, we're going to see a few of these next. So it looks like Fox is going over.
fish down below. Oh, hi turtle! Let us say hi turtle! Give me a high five! Good morning everybody. <laughs> we just woke up. We came back so late last night from the aquarium, but uh, I still wanted to do a video talking about it and explaining it. So mind the morning face and the bed hair. <laughs> But we had a lot of fun yesterday. What that mommy? You had a lot of fun? Get the gusto. What did you like? A sleepover. Yeah. We ended up sleeping over at uh, my husband's mom's house, grandma's house. So, because we all went in one car over there. It was, uh, it's like an hour and a half drive. <laughs> where we live in Northern Virginia. So, we all went in one car. And we decided to sleep over. Yeah. And let us show you how she puts her foot in her mouth. Así hacen los fishies. Y Leila touch what? What did Leila touch? Jellyfish. Leila touch jellyfish. <coughs> I know the bottom. Not the bottom. Yes, because the bottom could give you a boo-boo. Yeah, and it could hurt them too. Did you get a boo-boo touching the jellyfish? No. No, she did not get a jellyfish a sting. It was a called a uh, moon bounce jellyfish, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, which they're like pretty fragile and definitely don't sting you. So that was really cool for her to experience. And I even <laughs> touched it. It was such a weird texture, but it was fun. Uh, she also touched a stingray, <laughs> which was cool. We saw a dolphin. I did a uh, jump in the pool. It did jumps and little tricks. It wasn't their usual dolphin show. It was just a dolphin training. Because uh, we went, let me explain. We didn't go any ordinary day to the National Aquarium. We went on the dollar savings weekend. We took advantage and this weekend they do this once a year. Uh, I believe it's the same weekend of every year in December, 9 and 10. Uh, they do a dollar entry for everybody who comes in. Usually you pay, I believe, $40 each, something like that. So, But for this weekend, they do this once a year. You go in for only a dollar. So we decided to take the girls and experience it. We took the drive. And um, so for the dolphin show, it wasn't really a dolphin show. They wanted to give people like a preview or a sneak peek of what they usually do on their show. It was just a short, maybe five minutes, uh, dolphin training, which is what uh, you guys saw earlier in this video. We saw a sea turtle, which I love turtles. So you probably saw a little and bit you, more turtles and, than and, anything and, because and, I love and, turtles. And, and when you know when you see octopus, it'll flicker by. We didn't see an octopus. They had an octopus, but I don't know what happened to it. We couldn't see it. Uh, it went somewhere else. Right, Layla? We couldn't see it. No. But we saw a lot of cool animals, right? Yeah! And from a long day. It's a long, a lot of walking. And it was snowing yesterday here. And uh, because of the dollar day savings, there was a huge huge line a huge line that wrapped around the building went inside it went to the outside street outside of the building it was huge but it did go fast the line you did not wait in the line no more than an hour so the line did move a lot um so it was not that bad uh but yes there was a very long line in the very cold weather in the snow but um, we had a lot of fun. It's like three, four stories, that aquarium, which is really cool. So yeah, like I was saying, it was really cool for me personally because I love marine life. I love um, 
just seeing animals like that because I when I was younger was really interested in studying marine biology so seeing all of those animals different types of species that I have never seen before in my life I have never heard or seen a sunflower starfish in my life I don't know if you guys have but I did record a little bit of that fish so cool got home pretty late which is why I am doing this video right now um, because we just woke up and I really wanted to uh, explain a little bit to you guys. <laughs> what did you think about the aquarium? Like, what was your favorite part if you would have to choose? That odd looking shark. Oh yes. I don't know if I was able to record it because every time we would see that shark it was for like five seconds or less. <laughs> But I've never seen a shark like that in my life. And if I find a picture, I'll just put it in right now. Deanie, it's Deanie, like Deanie, 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 Deanie. it has like a, a huge long. Well, no, not that one. Not the shark one. Not the uh, sword sword shark. Was it? The it was a pork polka dot one. Tiger, oh, I. I that's like almost a tiger looking. Yeah, I think tiger I've seen that albino. One. That's what I, I would compare it to. Yeah. And um, something other, something else that's really cool about the aquarium is there that... There was no squid. No. I know, Layla already said it. <laughs> something really cool about the aquarium is that they don't only just get the fishes out in the wilderness and put let it be a part of the aquarium. They rescue a lot of these animals, if not all of these animals. There was a sea turtle named Calypso which I believe I recorded a little bit into this video, um, who they rescued out in the wild. Um, it was in the urge of dying. One of the fins, the front flippers, um, was really infected. And um, if they wouldn't have cut it, uh, it would have died. So they rescue a lot of these animals that are out in the wild, um, which is really cool and really nice. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun in the National Aquarium. Like I said, I personally loved it because I love marine life. Um, and the experience was definitely a Borgo's adventure. What else can I say? To being out in the cold for like hours, to her freezing my fingers off. I was in the cold. She was at Starbucks. Well, for a while I had to warm up. I couldn't feel my fingers. My fingers were like this. Like freezing really cold. And the girls didn't want them to suffer that much. So, and to say that when it comes to ocean life, only 20% has been discovered. So just to think about that, 20% out of 100 of sea life only has been discovered is pretty neat. Hope you guys enjoy this video and give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up. And also, I'm curious to see your perspective on wildlife. Down below in the comments, let me know what is your favorite type of sea life. What is your favorite animal if you have one? For me personally, it's sea turtles. I love sea turtles. One of my big wishes and dreams, definitely on my bucket list, is to go to the beach and see little sea turtles going back into the water. I would love that. So if you guys have a favorite animal, marine-wise, I'm curious to see what it is and go down below. And let me know if you've been to that aquarium before. And in this video if there's something that I missed out also let me know in the comments down below I want to see if I missed out on something that you guys saw and I did not so let me know down in the comments below give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe we'll see you soon